guys, what's going on? Bleaker here, right here. And today we are playing another episode of Factorio. In this episode, we're gonna even more mass produce her. Yeah. Yes, we're going to mass produce even more than we already were before. So in the previous episode, if I remember correctly, I said we were gonna do something with this space right here, this space right here, and that space right there that thing is we're going to create the fast splitters the fast underground belt and the fast transport belt which I really didn't leave any room for which is really on me actually might have enough there to make it work let me see here yeah I might actually have enough there to make it work but do I really want to um, <laughs> we'll try it, we'll try it. I, th I think I have enough room for, to do this. So if I put one, two, three, four, five, five of those. Okay. We're going to be really crunched on space here, but I think I can do it. So it's only going to output... I'm, I'm going to move this all back one space. Yeah, I got a little bit more room to work with. It's important that I get room to work with on this front side rather than the back end. Make a few more long -ish fast inserters. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I like this. Alright, that's all hooked up. I don't like the power there. Okay, this is kind of a cool idea. Because I know I'm going to need... I know I'm going to need belt from here to actually produce these, so instead of bringing this down then bringing up another belt and just kind of wasting my time and, and perfectly good belt, to be completely honest with you, I'm just going to peel... I'm just going to peel it right off of the supply line here. by inventory space. And then that'll bring up all of the uh, iron gears that I'm going to need. And nice, nice, nice. Oh, shoot. Yep, 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 yell at me. Okay, I think I got her now. And I'm just going to have a fast inserter, putting these in an iron chest. And I'm going to need a lot of them. And there we go. Just goes to show how little room this design actually uses. Look at that. I stuck this whole thing in a one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what they call them in here. Squares? Maybe? A six square. That's got to be a six square slot, I think. I think that's the best description of that. Anyways, moving on, so then we're going to make, oh, wait, the only other thing I was doing here is I was boxing up, I'm not really going to need normal inserters too much anymore, because now I've got the fast ones, which will help solve a lot of my production, uh, quite a few of my production problems. 
because if I speed up the belt, I'm actually able to bring in a fair amount more resources to these upper belts and essentially produce more. I'm able to shove more storage onto the belt is what it comes down to. So yeah, I'm gonna have that keep producing here. Ugh, I'm just gonna have no inventory space by the time I'm done with this. Oh yeah, what? Box there. There, perfect, that's a good amount there. So then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We got our fast underground belt. That's gonna take 20 iron gear because Jesus. That's a lot. Twenty, my god. Okay, with it gonna with it taking so much, we're gonna do something a little bit different than what we normally do. Oh, cool. I did a lot of off-camera research because I was bored. And I had just resources sitting around. So with this with this requiring so many iron gears, I got a whole ton, but only two underground belt. I'm just going to bring the underground belt up, like so. I'm gonna bring in a full belt iron gear wheels. I'm gonna attempt to bring in a full belt of iron gear wheels, I should say. Average at best, if I do say so myself. And then since, like I said, since we're going to need a lot more iron gears, we're going to bring those in via the fast inserters. And since we're only going to require two inserters, we're going to use the or two underground belt. We're going to bring in the we're going to bring those in using the slower long-handed inserters. It just makes sense. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I think. I, I really can't make any guarantees. I rarely get to this this far in the game. And then bring that out like so. I think this I can get away with just using I was I was having a random moment of clicking failure. There, that's looking good. Dear God, are we not able to supply enough gears? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, we're not. Wow. I'm legitimately impressed with myself there. That's definitely a gear shortage right there. That just means, when in doubt, one, two, three, four more. Bring the belt up. We're gonna be using um, the faster, the fast transport belts from now on, at least on the intake side of things. Killing me here, Schmalls. That's another thing I need to make. Or automate. Fast inserters, which we should get time in this episode to do it. I don't know, how far are we already? Uh, looking like nine minutes into this episode already. Alright, alright. Digging it. Oh. There we go. That's better. And 
now are just limited by the slow inserters, so time to make some newer ones. These are going to require one splitter, ten iron goo, ten electronic circuits, my god! These things are getting ridiculously expensive. Filling up the old inventory. Not gonna need as many of these anymore, so. Oh, there you go, there you go. And then. Oh. Nice. That gets a couple of these. Okay. Faster inserters. What do we need again? As I forgot. Um, we're gonna need one splitter. Okay, so one splitter. So we're gonna do bring in a second line. Attempt to bring in a second line where we're gonna merge both the. might just do oh cool um just give me something that i can research wow purple nope still haven't done blue yet blue blue green good cut this up like that that's better need plenty of room here so bring up iron gears I I'm just messing everything up today. There we go, bring that down. So I've been reading all of y'all's comments and I must say there's some really good information I'm getting out of here. And I have been advised that I should use robots. And I would be more than happy to use robots if I had any clue what I was doing with those. You see, I have never actually advanced in this game past about the point I'm at right now. Which is really, really unfortunate. Why am I using the slower ones? I have tried many, many times to successfully get past the point that I'm at right now. But it never quite seems to work out, because either I get way in over my head, and I mean way, way in over my head. It's usually from just a general lack of um, un-understanding, which is why we're taking a, um, which is why I'm doing this in season, so I can get understood, more understood, something like that. so I can achieve some level of understanding of this game before I go um, telling people how one might want to play it. Alright, good. Then bring that up. Did I goof here? I think I might have a little bit. still think there we go that's better and we'll do one two three of these what are these gonna be splitters yeah three should be fine So yeah, I am aware of robots, I have just never successfully used them because I've never gotten much further than uh, um, oil refining. I have gotten oil, I've set up oil jacks and did my own version of the Dakota Pipeline. Mm, that might have been in bad taste, but, but uh, I've never advanced much past oil processing. So it's something I need to work on. So I've got a tutorial world, not, my, not a tutorial world, I've got Up, 
duh. Caught a case of the stupid. I was wondering why the hell that wasn't producing. So yeah, that's why we're taking like a season off here, or a couple months so I can really firmly educate myself on this stuff. Because it's really cool and I really want to do the game justice, but I have to I have to know what I'm doing before I can do it justice. Alright, cool. Isn't that? Okay. Damn. Never research. Oh look, there it goes. Done. Perfect. Maybe that'll just take some time. Well, then next up, let's do uh, fast inserters, long-handed inserters. So what I'm thinking here is we're gonna have a tiny little sub belt here. Because remember my little discussion on producing locally versus producing remotely. This is gonna be something more of the local production here. I don't think I'm actually gonna send these down the line nor am I really going to start sending um, transport belts down the line, or at least not in these huge buses. I might do the smaller line like I'm doing here, these uh, this uh, two-lane line. Just because I don't believe a massive belt is necessary to, um, you know, it's just because I don't believe a, a, this huge belt is completely necessary for providing for this whole operation. That may change, and I will deal with that in time, but I firmly believe the way I'm doing this, I'm not going to need just this massive, massive bus. But who knows, I could be wrong. I'm wrong about many of things, and I'll be the first to admit that. There we go, that's a little smoother. Wrong way. Still wrong way. I never grab some splitters here. Alright, so you go there, you go there. Actually, I feel like... Gotta reorganize everything here. I want to start using the fast transport belts. There we go. get resources to and fro a little bit faster. Good, that should uh, hold me over for a little while here. One more slight adjustment, because I want a full belt going in here, or as full of a belt as I can get. There we go, that's a little better. Not iron gears. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> May need to adjust that. You know what? Just going to give it two full lines and see if that'll help catch up. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Okay, so where was I? Um, before I tangent off there, fast inserters. Um, let's see here. Iron, circuits, let's go. Just for quickness sake here, I'm only going to bring up I'm going to bring up two. up to. Alright, so then for the fast inserters, which are going to primarily be using two electronic circuits. Why am I... It was iron plates. What am I doing? You know, I'm going to be feeling the need to bring up two. Iron plates. I want you to come 
up here. No, nope, up one more, I think. Up one more, meet there. Then four. just for with purposes here. What am I doing? There we go. Open that up one more time. Average at best, I'd say, and then off this line here, I want to divert. Since fast inserters are going to be the most important here, I want those to get priority. So these will see approximately 50% of the output from here. One, two, three. Fast inserters. Hopefully this is the last time we have to make these. Do I have enough input? Probably not. What am I missing here? Why am I not getting iron gears? Oh. Oh, that's right, because I adjusted some stuff. Like an idiot I am. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have to do an episode just for fixing all the stuff that I've done wrong, and I will admit that. Won't be a great episode, but... We'll make for one hell of a finale. Sweet. Now that I don't have to make those anymore, now the second most important splitter, that, or the most second most important um, inserter that I'm going to use is the long-handed inserters, which are going to require an iron gear an iron plate. There we go. An iron gear and an iron plate. So then, iron gears right here, iron plate. Oh, kind of bypassed the iron gears there. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a professional. I promise. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. I don't know. Iron gears, iron plate coming in. Nope, I'm not merging it there. I gotta make room for this line.
that didn't take very long. We'll just not research for a while. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Then long-handed inserters. Last couple of those that I'll hopefully need to make for a while. Um, damn it. I also need to mass produce these in spades. that up to about here bring this up to about there insert 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 output 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 provide power and off to the races look at that and that should finish up my automation goals for the day. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think in my factory I'm going to produce any other kinds of inserters unless if it gets called for. Called for because I mostly use inserters, long-handed inserters. Every once in a while I use a filter inserter. I don't know if I'll need a stack inserter or not. There may come a time when I do, but I don't believe right now is that time. So thank you all for watching my video. Uh, please make sure you leave a like. That really helps me. I appreciate it a lot more than you think. Uh, leave a comment again. I love hearing from you guys. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. You really don't know how much that means to me. But until we meet again next time, 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 there we go, time. This has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.